In August of 2021, when the Islamic Emirate returned to power in Afghanistan, the United States quickly reacted by instating a series of sanctions, by calling for aid cutbacks, you know, even though the former republic, which it backed, which, you know, the United States and other Western powers backed, and then that was quickly followed up with banking restrictions uh, to the point where even for several months in, into 2021, um, even services like Western Union and MoneyGram were making it very difficult to send money to Afghanistan. And they were also not allowing the Taliban government to basically get new banknotes because Afghanistan's banknotes have always been printed abroad, um, somewhere in Europe, depending on the contract. And even before the former Republic fell, they were late. There was a delay on the shipments of new bills. And if you know anything about the Avani, it's notoriously flimsy. It gets ruined very quickly. Um, and even though the Islamic Emirate, based on the money that it had and the money that it had left over from the Republic, had enough to make a payment to the Polish organization that was printing the new banknotes, because of international sanctions, they weren't allowed to basically send that money to Poland to get the banknotes, you know, to bring to the people. Eventually, you know, about a month or so ago, the United States lifted that restriction. And in recent weeks, new banknotes have arrived into Afghanistan. And, you know, this is a big deal because for more than a year, uh, you know, the low quality banknotes caused a problem for business owners and for consumers because you would go into a store or a bakery or something and you would hand them a bill and they would say, you know, this is too damaged to take. For larger bills, it was a big problem for people. And traditionally something like a central bank or federal reserve, that is part of their job, is to take old bank notes, destroy them and distribute new ones. But for the longest time, the Islamic Emirate wasn't able to do that. Now that restriction has been lifted. Uh, and also now, you know, certain private banks are finally able to allow people with foreign uh, ATM cards, you know, to take out money. There is more international transactions. And all of this is important because it helps with consumer and most importantly, investor confidence. Because given the economic downturn uh, that has taken place in Afghanistan over the last year and a half, it's really important for the government and honestly for the people as well, for investors to come back uh, and to potentially give you know ways of uh, making money making an income uh, for the people once again so you know this is another example of how these restrictions really aren't affecting the leadership of the taliban but are having a great impact on the daily lives of that one people